So we were actually waiting for people to fill up because that's what a speaker wants. So we're just waiting for that. And I guess everybody's here. So we'll just get started. <clears throat> How many of you can hear me? So this isn't a talk talk. This is you and me talking. This is an interaction. This is not just anybody who's just coming, talking, and we're done with it. No. So we're just going to be talking to each other. So before we begin, uh, thank you all for coming to WordCamp Nagpur. And this is the first offline WordCamp. So we guys are really, really excited. And I hope you guys are excited equally. So good morning, everyone. I was just trying to understand whether you guys are going to interact or not. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. That's better. That's better. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I am going to be talking about uh, content production, how to be smart and be diverse. Everybody's smart. I'm just going to talk about the diverse part. That's how it's going to happen. OK? <clears throat> so let's just start. And if there's anybody who's here who wants to call somebody else, tell them to go to uh, room two, room one. You guys can do that right now. We're going to take 30 seconds more. So I hope that's how it's going to be. Are you making a call? Good. <laughs> how many of you are from uh, Nagpur itself? OK. How many outside Nagpur? OK. Kanpur, Delhi, Delhi. Delhi, nahi hai. Achha, OK. Sorry? Where is that? That is what happens when you don't listen to the geography teacher. You got to listen. <laughs> so you got to do that. <clears throat> OK. Um, yeah, we're still waiting for somebody to come in. We don't want anybody to miss out the talks. Do the same thing for uh, room one and room three. We got uh, technical stuff going out there. I'm less of a techie, more of a content creator, and somebody who likes to see people smile. So I'm glad that you guys are smiling through the talk abhi tak to. It has been two minutes, so yeah. Let's see. Chalu nahi hua hai. This is the type of interaction that I don't want. <laughs> OK. So let's just understand what is content diversity, OK? This is something that I Googled last night, because I just wanted to be really, really accurate. A production of variety of material for media consumption that consists of you know, the variety of content that is different from one another. But it includes everybody. This part is something that I believe in. It should include everybody. So what happens is you create multiple content divisions. You create it for social media. You create it for video, audio, podcast. You just go all in to create your content. But you got to understand that it should include everybody. When I say everybody, it literally means from a child to the person who's old, from every you know, gender. We're going to talk about every gender because we know that there are lots of genders now. So that's what. So you should actually work on creating content for everybody. Like, who is, the, who is this content for? So all you need is love. But OK, I made a typo. All you needed love. And to understand who your target audience is. <clears throat> when you start creating a content piece, you should understand who it is for. When you start your blog, when you start your podcast, when you start your video, you should understand where exactly is this going to go and who is it going to address. How many of you here are into blogging? OK, quite a lot of you. How many of you are into podcasting? And when I say podcasting, not just making podcasts, sunne ke liye bhi. Also, I didn't, since this is something that I need to do, uh, my target audience here, are you comfortable with English or Hindi? How many are comfortable with English? How many with Hindi? So I will do it Just increase the master volume. Check. Can you hear me better? OK. So um, initially, when we start a blog, let me just ask you, who is into blogging? Raise your hands again. What do you blog about? Tech. What do you blog about? Tech. What do you blog about? Everything. OK. So let's just talk about your everything. When you create your content for everything, uh, related to everything, what is it that you uh, talk about? Okay, that's very diverse. I mean, tech to relationship, it's completely opposite. Techies aren't ever into relationship. Relationships never go into techies. But if you get a techie who's into relationship, you are really lucky. So uh, what happens is, when you're actually doing stuff for everybody, and you're writing everything, you've got to understand it's never going to attract all the audience that is coming onto your blog. People who want to read 
tech will read tech people who want to read relationship will read relationship now it is on to you whether you can divert the tech to relationship and the relationship to tech that is what actual content creation means you got to be diverse but you got to be smart when you're actually getting people onto your blog and you start creating content where you kind of just mix and match everything but at the same time address the problem that these people are looking for so that is what i talk about when you say when you are ta ta target your audience and hit the bullseye that's what it is <clears throat> this is an example so uh, burger king came up with impossible whopper and their tagline was try it don't taste the difference aaj se zyada log hamesha bolte taste the difference here they said don't taste the difference what was this whopper about have you ever heard about this thing so what they did was they came up with a whopper which is which tastes like meat but it isn't meat it's veg it's just got the same texture everything now if i ask you what what was the you know the target audience that you were targeting oh okay. so we got vegans also vegetarian also non vegetarian also non vegetarian so what they did was they wanted to shift the non vegetarians who want to turn into vegan but they don't want to lose that particular person so what they did was they may wanted to maintain the same texture and they mentioned that you know it's not going to taste different it's going to taste with the same essence of the non veg that you used to eat and that is how they actually created the content around it which is brilliant know your niche you're not rajma chawal you can't make everybody happy okay so how many of you like rajma chawal okay there are quite a lot there are some who don't like rajma chawal so you're not rajma chawal you can't make everybody happy so when you're writing about everything it's not that you can you know tell somebody that love uh, your uh, you know girlfriend or boyfriend but at the same time love your macbook you can't do that you got to just mix and match it you got to love your macbook because you can see your girlfriend more clearly and that is how you get them into it you want to do long distance calls you got to take that macbook and just get the best quality of video that's how you should address this thing engage 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 put a ring around their finger not literally you'll be in trouble but you should engage them with your content what happens is <clears throat> you write a 100 word blog and you just stop you don't stop to think whether i should segregate that whether it should be paragraphs whether it should be title subtitle etc so here's what somebody mentioned was that you should adopt the inverse funnel where you talk about the major headline to be the most important part you talk about the subtitle to be the lesser important part and then comes the uh, area so how many of you you go for the clickbait articles on facebook pointer article jiske andar likha hota hai you know uh, hogwarts how many people have seen harry potter everybody seen it so everybody goes like you know if you get to know that these are the 15 things that harry potter did not show and was different from the book you will instantly go there because first things first you were attracted to harry potter you are the niche audience for harry potter they got your target audience now they come on you go out to the blog and you check out the first title that these are the 15 things that the books and uh, movies had different now what do you do is you start reading and you read from the titles sometimes you don't want to go into the details you just want to know ki kya kya alag tha everybody wants to flaunt here everybody wants to tell her you know i know those 50 things that you don't know it how did i get to know i just read the titles that was more than enough nobody is going to go into detail how did you actually get to know that then you need to go into the details and that is how the inverse funnel works you got to you got the main important part and you're done with it that's it that's more than important for you and that is how people are attracted towards your blog they come because they know they're going to get that listicle article out there they're going to get that important part right there in front of you they're going to come to the blog you got your purpose served when you come your your purpose served the person has come to onto your uh, you know the blog they've come they've clicked you got your audience and that's about it but you got to give that information that's the most important part so use the inverse funnel most important lesser important and the least important but this does not mean that you just write anything in the paragraph section i didn't say that you write about harry potter and move on to you know twilight that's not how it's supposed to be you talk about harry potter you just you know explain how this harry potter was different <clears throat> don't go overboard there is no bandaid for when words hurt you what happens is people go on to their advertisement when you actually writing content for a brand there are times when you do hurt your audience this affects your brand in the long run it's very tough to get people back how many of you have have heard that fair and lovely changed their name to you know yeah. something else and what was it glow and lovely simple reason times are changing 
people will come up to your brand and say that this was the trend. I understand that you know fair girls were more important, but now all that's required is the glow, and that is why Fair and Lovely, a you know big conglomerate, a big ass organization, they had to change their uh, you know name. They had to bow down because the audience is the one who's going to drive their brand, and that is how your blog needs to be to the point, but not you should not go overboard. It does hurt. And then there's no bandit. No doctor is going to actually repair this. So each one is different yet connected. So here's my question. Uh, any one of you name all the social media platforms that you know? Anybody? Uh, name all the social media platforms that you know. Facebook, Facebook Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, LinkedIn Snapchat, 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 Tumblr. Tumblr. Telegram. Telegram. That's not a social network. A social network is something where people uh, engage with each other content. Right, got it. <clears throat> so we got all these platforms. Everybody knows these platforms, they know the names. Now I'm going to ask you what exactly is it that you want to read on Facebook? What do you get to see on Facebook? Facebook. Sorry? Facebook. Okay, you see ads? Okay, that's a wonderful thing. But okay, that is Zuckerberg's fault. That's not our fault, to be very honest. So what happens is, uh, Facebook was something that people used to share their thoughts, they used to come over, they used to share their kids' pictures, they used to share their uh, marriage picture, which actually pops up every alternate uh, post nowadays. So, yeah, even I was, every alternate person was telling me to get married, but that's a different thing. So, what happened was, <clears throat> you go to Facebook, you see all these updates. You go to Instagram, what is it that you see? You see pictures, you see videos, you don't see text. You do see text, but they are in the form of pictures. You move on to Twitter, that's a micro-blogging platform. You see people sharing their thoughts in the form of microblogging. You move on to LinkedIn, you see people posting about their achievements all related to the professional section. So when you're talking about a social media platform, please understand every platform was created by the creator for a specific niche. LinkedIn, Reid Hoffman himself says that you know people don't know how to use LinkedIn the way I created LinkedIn. There are a buttload of you know, features out there in uh, LinkedIn. We don't even know that. There are only two things that we come there for. Either post our achievement, read our achievement, and finally, you know, search for jobs. That's about it. Not many people understand, you know, there's a, there are analytics, there are places, there's something known as a LinkedIn feed now where you can actually create your own micro site. And with time, for your company, so when you're actually going to be going there, you'll see that a company, as soon as the employee posts anything related to the company, it comes onto that amazing microsite of LinkedIn. It's called LinkedIn feed. You guys can go and Google it. Similarly, when you go on to Instagram, again, you got pictures of marriage, but it's all related to pictorial representation of what you want to share. Moving on to Facebook, I understand that Facebook today has literally everything that other you know, platforms has, but initially it started off with the statuses. It initially wanted you to connect with people. That's how I found my Facebook, you know, school friends. I found my, you know, crushes. I found my other people. So yeah, that's something that happened. But finally, in Snapchat, everybody knows that Snapchat has a streak uh, section where you just create your streak, you just create. But how did it start? It actually started off with the disappearing pictures. They do evolve. I'm not going to deny that fact. They do evolve. But initially, what it was for is what it is. And that's how these people became famous. They focused on one particular thing. And then they moved on to the other section. That's what you have to do. I understand you write about everything. Notice what your audience is reading the most. You know they're going to like your content. You know they like tech, you write more about tech. And lure them into the relationship section because eventually they're going to come onto your website. That's how it is. Again, there are different mediums where you actually post. Uh, blogs, social media, videos and podcasts. When you write about something, you post a video, you create a podcast, eventually you do come onto social media to promote it. But there are ways to actually do that. You cannot write the same thing over and over again on every social media platform. And understand that audiences do follow all the handles when they do because they love your brand. When they see that there's a different style of content, they appreciate that fact. What they do is they actually start engaging with the content on every particular section. If you've got your microblogging going on, microblog about those articles. Pick up snippets from your article and write them as you know microblog because that gets your attention and that get, get, gets their attention and finally all you have to do is just redirect them to your blog. When you have a podcast, you go onto Instagram 
start posting the snippets of your podcast the video snippets or maybe the photo snippets that this is how i was actually doing this this is the you know this is the behind the scene that's what people do you see multiple people actually posting the bts why do they do that they want people to actually see i, I get really excited when i see that my favorite uh, vlog like i'm a fan of uh, bhuvan bam bb ki vines that guy has done wonderfully as soon as he posts his uh, behind the scene i'm actually really flattered i get connected this is what the guy is actually doing he's like us and that's what you, they want you become famous but people do want to stay connected with you on a very basic level <clears throat> measure and evolve not every day is a sunday be the change you wish to see i don't want to quote uh, famous people but of course uh, like i mentioned about fair and lovely it changed into glow and lovely similarly social media is ever changing how many of you create reels nowadays or how many how many of you create reels lots of how many see reels how many watch reels yeah that's the number so you do notice that people are actually watching reels because instagram changed this model maybe it was for the business uh, you know business competition or whatever whatever is what for tiktok itself but they instantly killed the engagement of posts for the simple reason because they wanted people to come and create reels and what happened all the content creators started creating reels when youtube saw this it created its own shorts short came into existence people started going there now what happens is when you actually create something like this now you're afraid of the competition and you know if i create it here i got to you know post it over there and i got to post it on a third place do that every platform has its own audience youtube has shorts as my mom is a fan of youtube more than instagram i've taught her a million times she's not going to be accepting it i'm happy because i'm on instagram i don't know what i'm going to post in the future so i'm happy but whenever you see a trend changing follow the trend don't go overboard again but follow the trend because that's what is going to be watched by people and that will ultimately increase your content interaction measuring <clears throat> so and how many of you have already got a shop running a website running a blog running anything anything related to do with content creation how many of you are doing that already you guys are doing that you guys are already measuring your audience obviously you google analytics whatever it was hot jar understand that where exactly is the audience going why is it going there start analyzing your own content when you become your own customer na that is when you actually start understanding what the audience is actually want, wanting when you write a blog article my suggestion always has been do not read your article instantly after you posted you've done your due diligence you've done your you know typography type typo check etc etc but check out your blog after a week's time you'll understand what exactly is it that you wrote at that point of time in that zone that is what your audience is seeing give it time go back become your own customer and that's when you'll realize whether your content was good enough or not i when i actually started my uh, online radio station i had about i have about uh, 50000 radios running on it i go there every week just to see whether these radios are actually worth it are they going to be listened to and that's when i know that you know okay fine today rock is something that is in, that is in trend because some random artist just came on the boom so i what i do is i just bring the rock uh, radios right in front so that the people will start engaging with that content and that happens people listen to rock because they know that this is the trend that's going on how many of you have, have heard about the korean uh, pop band bts yes. so when bts actually broke now they have no more together they start going with on this with their single uh, artist albums i brought the k pop songs right in front for the simple reason because it was in the trend people would want to do that and google catches that it knows that you know you've actually made a change it will start crawling your data and show that particular result on the search engine when people search for k pop songs and that's when that's when my work is done people will come people will interact my job is done there so ppp <clears throat> this is not a horn you plan you produce you promote and you perfect you plan your content that's a summary by the way you plan your content know what you're actually going to write do your research check out other blog articles there is no harm in actually going out there and seeing other articles what they've written you would not want to copy that's of course that's something that you don't want to do but you've got your own style you've got on your niche but you need that information when i was actually doing this i know what content production is all about i know what content diversity is all about when i actually telling you stuff i had to see my audience 
I had to, you know, mellow it down to the fact that you guys will actually be able to connect. If I would have actually just pasted the first slide, which was just a, you know, a definition of content diversity, that wouldn't have helped. In every slide, you, you would have just gone through and, you know, Googled it yourself. But no, that's what it means. You plan. You produce. When you produce, you got to understand what is it that you want to produce. There's no harm in going diverse. You know, just go all in. Create videos, create podcasts, create reels, create posts, create LinkedIn profile uh, posts, create anything. Promote. <clears throat> Promotion is not just related to, you know, uh, paid, uh, paid engagement. You got to be organic. Let your people know that, you know, you guys are actually doing stuff. That is what happens. Word of mouth is the best promotion. And you guys must have known that. I mean, half of the time you've actually forwarded the reels to somebody because you liked it. And you know this person is going to like it. That person has already run his job. One particular target audience will actually attract 10 more. And that's all you need. Perfect. Again, it's all about evolving. You measure, you perfect your content. And this is something that uh, lots of people do. When they start creating content, uh, they give up in between. That's not what you should do. Be consistent. There's going to be time. It'll take time. It'll just take one post, one blog, one podcast, or one video for you to shoot up out there. Pick up the stories of any creator on the face of this earth. They started off small. And today what they are is because the one thing that actually took them on a boom. People love that. They go back. They start searching. And be thankful that the platforms that are there for content creation, they've got their suggestions running. You see, they see one video, they'll show more videos from that particular creator. And you're, you know, just happy that that's been done. So you don't need to work on that. Again, be consistent, be different. Go for the research, but do not, do not go all in and uh, just change. It's completely that, you know, if I'm talking about hospitals, don't talk about, you know, um, tech. Stick to healthcare, stick to hospitals. If you're talking about tech, don't talk about love. Talk about the love for tech. That's how. So never go overboard. Just be consistent and be different. So it's time for an activity now. Okay. <clears throat> this is something that's not been done in any of the, you know, word camps. And I got a person smiling out there because he's all into, you know, be a part of this activity. Um, I'll be pointing out to any one of you, literally any one of you, and you will select a word any word and let's see if we can actually create a one-liner associated with it now let me tell you a bit about myself i have been creating content since 2016 and not just content related to blogs or anything i used to write that was the first time i actually earned my money not to buy a you know dongle uh, i actually wrote an article for somebody and got that 1500 bucks and created uh, got my own internet connection that's what i did then i got into the mode of writing that was tech how i started off but my niche is uh, talking quirky. I know that you guys have been smiling through the talk. Some, you know, got uh, quite. Uh, I mean, it, it was a wider smile. I was very happy. But my way, my way of talking is quirky, and that is how I talk. So we're gonna just do this activity, and let's see if we can come up with you know quirky uh, dialogues for any goddamn thing that you can actually. So here's an example. You give me a word shorts. I'm gonna say shorts. They're pants, but just shorter. So I'm going to just point out to any one of you. I was actually supposed to throw something at you, but Nikita couldn't actually find something to throw. And she said that lag gayi to problem ho jayegi. So let's start with you. Give me any word. If you're going to think, I'm not going to do that. I don't want you to think anything. Carpet, standy, anything. Sorry? Shoes. OK. Because your feet need somebody to walk with. Moving on. Moving on, anybody, anybody, just throw words. Santra Barfi. Nagpur's crown. Just keep throwing, it's not, it's not gonna stop, I'm telling you. Umbrella, okay, she's already. Rihanna's favorite song. Moving on, moving on. Sorry? Diapers. Diapers. Oh, diapers is easy. A child's delight, a mother's horror. Sorry? Oh my, a word I just couldn't understand for my lifetime. <laughs> Sorry? Lactose. Lactose. You've got to be intolerant in order to be tolerant. <laughs> moving on, moving on. COVID. COVID. You better stay away, it's better for us. <laughs> moving on, come on. 
Sorry? I just did it. I hope you liked it. Come on. Lemon. When life gives you lemon, don't make lemonade. Just suck on him and make a face. Sorry? Reminder. I've got a lot of them. I just don't, they just, they just don't remind me. Come on. Word camp. Okay, word camp. A place where friends meet, meet, I mean, that's what it is. I have just realized that the community is so strong that they've turned into friends and that's what I love. Alexa. Alexa? Why don't you listen to me? <laughs> What's next? Networking. Networking. Okay, networking, networking, networking. I wish Spider-Man was better at it. Networking, creating webs, that's what it is. Granule. Sorry? Granule. Granule. Granule, okay. A word that you and I are understanding, but it's on a very granular level. Mar Here. Marvel. Marvel. Okay. It's the reason for the maximum fights between girlfriends and boyfriends. <laughs> Here. Any word, any word. Wordpress. Wordpress? I love it. <laughs> what else next? Sorry? I want words. I want, I, I don't want emotions. I want words. Give me any word. Sorry? Guns. Okay. The one who has it is the one who believes in it. Sorry? Purana Chawal. I don't want to actually go down that road. What else? Sorry? Quotes or code? I still get it. Oh, oats. Oats. Okay, okay, okay. Oats. Um, the best way to advertise, you know, health. That's the only thing that I've seen. Batting. Oh, Batman. Uh, Robin's best friend. We got to move faster. Speaker. Speaker. The one who's on stage but yet trying to make other, one, other people laugh. What's next? Sorry? Bezos. Uh, one name that, you know, his wife did not like. What's next? Stand up. Stand up. Uh, it's not just comedy, you just stand up and you just start blabbering. What's next? Chocolate. Chocolate? Uh, chocolate, 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 chocolate. I would love to have one on my bedside on the table today at the hotel. Come on, next. Bangalore. Bangalore, Bangalore. One place where the airport is the farthest from the city. What's next? Car. Car. Um, car. Electric or petrol. I don't care. I just want one. What's next? Pasuri. Sorry? Pasuri, uh, this song was amazing. I've heard it a million times. What's next? Spotify. Spotify. Uh, you know, Spotify, Ghana's worst competitor. What's next? Shilong. Sh what? Shillong. Shillong. Uh, one place where I just want to go and just want to be mesmerized. Oh. Virat. Virat. Virat, uh, Virat. Virat. Because Anushka loves him too much. What's next? <laughs> Sorry? Beta tumse na ho paega. Come on, let's move it. What's next? What's next? Alia's baby. Alia's baby. I so want to see his picture. Her pictures, actually. What's next? Brahmastra. Brahmastra. Shiva. <laughs> Shiva. What's next? Anything? Just give me your turn. Sorry? I guess Alia's daughter would be talking about that soon. <laughs> Adi Purush. I am still waiting for the better graphics. <laughs> Patanjali. Karne se hoga? Try karke dekho. Con sorry? Content 2023. Content 2023. Okay, this is something that I... Pushpa. Pushpa. Oh, don't worry. I hate tears, <laughs> Content 2023. Just be the best at it. That's what this talk is all about. And we're done. Thank you so much. You guys were amazing. That's all I wanted. This is the beginning of the best WordCamp that's, that's actually there in India. Be like this for every speaker. That's all we want. That's all we want. Question, answer time. Anything that you guys want to ask. It was actually funny that you guys were coming up with words, but question answers ke time pe people aren't, you know, that interactive. I thought I was too good, I was too bad. I would go with the first one, but it's okay, okay, that's a different thing. <laughs> Let me know the time. Yes. Yeah, we got five minutes. Sorry, we have time. Okay, so any questions, anything, or we can just go on with the word wala thingy. But not everybody's given me a word, so you guys keep popping in words and we'll just start creating. And anybody comes up with this thing. England. England. The pain is real. Pakistan. Pakistan, the pain is realer. <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, it, has, it has been a different uh, situation, like the content industry has changed. Before there, were, sorry. 
the the content industry has changed before there were a few sources for the content creators where they used to find value write blogs on it and then the audiences loved it right now it's all open so what is the way for content creators to create value where everything is already in open just the people are not able to reach it what is it that you do do you write content yes i do what do you write about uh, the conciseness in, instead of reading everything at once i get what i need but that's absolutely different for every single person so how you create an how do you cater a larger audience at the same time being personalized for the reader? give me an example of something that you wrote recently something that you wrote recently uh, a linkedin article a linkedin article what was the topic uh, it was regarding the defs nagpur event that happened sorry it was regarding the defs nagpur event that happened last week okay so uh, <clears throat> you do understand this is something that you like and people are engaging with it people love reading this i mean there are going to be like five people i'm not going to be going into 50 or 500 there might be five people who like this but understand that these five people are the ones who actually like your content right mm-hmm. you're talking about conciseness you you like to write something that's related to tech maybe but in a very different way okay do you write more on linkedin or is it somewhere else that you write uh, i sometimes write up on twitter based upon like what is the situation like or uh, regarding if there is a topic i create a thread or otherwise usually linkedin and sometimes i write for my people and spread it around via podcast or amazing so this is how you go about it you got your own niche and i'm sure you got your own style what we need to do is we just need to focus on the topics that you select okay you're already doing that you do pick up the trends i understand but trends change and there are approximately 10 trends that are going on across the globe figure out your audience and see where they belong pick up the trends from that particular place i understand that kacha badam is not something that you would write about exactly not okay. <laughs> but you would want to write about the th- the 13% layoff in facebook why that happened people want to read that but as soon as i read that one article you do, you do read, everybody knows about the uh, app in shorts they came up with the concept of conciseness again exactly. 60 seconds can you read the news and that's about it that's what you need to be your conciseness should not be related just about one thing because i understand you can write about anything if you're writing about uh, you know limited things i mean in a concise way i'm sure you can do any way but your style should not die so when you're actually addressing your audience start engaging with them talk to them where exactly are you from you talk to your friends everything ask for their you know feedbacks basically that's exactly what is missing in you have already mentioned in shorts it is right now creating gen, uh, content gen, auto generated sure sure but at the same time it doesn't has that one personal human style it cannot even have it ever makes so sense that's okay. something we can bet on and go with it absolutely so thanks it, i was just i hope i was able to answer your question okay so since we're done with the question answer and lovely session related to the activity i love the activity a lot and i hope you love the session Thank you so much. This is Ashutosh.